Hi, this is Michael Simpson, the director of Liquid Camp 3. We're going to take a behind-the-scenes look at the making of a key sequence in the Teenage Wasteland. It's one of the fan favorites. It's where Maria, played by Kashina Kessler, gets hit by the business end of a garbage truck, driven by everybody's favorite transsexual psychopath, Angela Baker. the most difficult and dangerous stunt of the movie. As you can see in this footage, Kashina, the actress, is actually running in front of the truck. There's no stunt double for her. She's actually doing it herself. We did it in two takes. This is the second one. That's Lonnie Smith, our stunt coordinator, who's doubling for Pam Springsteen behind the wheel. I know you can tell the resemblance. Here's the same shot from the second B camera that was rolling. This is one of the few scenes where we actually used A and B cameras. Kashina had completed her run and the truck had passed. Uh, the crew reacted warmly. You can see we're all very relieved. That's Bill Mills, the director of photography, that did such a great job. Next, we rehearsed Kashina's run into the dead end of the alley. Timing was very important in this scene. Now it's time for our last minute hair and makeup being touched up. You can see in the background there that we're Shooting in downtown Atlanta, we were in the southeast uh, section of the downtown area. It's actually a very tough neighborhood, and as you can see, our set security is in the background there. We're beginning to uh, attract some looky-loos. We needed to uh, rehearse Kashina's uh, turn and fall several times so that she could match the uh, angle of the dummy that will actually be inserted into the shot and hit by the garbage truck. This was uh, the last scene that we filmed on the last day of production for the movie. It was actually Halloween day. Uh, the crew was extremely exhausted after six weeks of production of the two Sleepaway Camp sequels back to back, but uh, everyone remained uh, in very good humor and gave 110%. This really was um, a top-notch crew. find the actress underneath all that garbage, but there she is, and of course she's okay. I'll be relieved. She was a good sport uh, about doing all of her own stunts. That's 
Jerry Peace in the safari hat there. And Roger Shear on the right with our key grip. I'm talking with Bill Mills, who is in the center. That's Lonnie Smith in the background, who is our stunt coordinator who uh, drove the uh, Mack truck for us. on the head of the dummy that will be inserted uh, to take uh, Kashina's place and actually be hit by the truck. Splat, of course, is uh, involved in this, as is the wardrobe and makeup department. up of course we take the dummy back out and insert the actress back into the scene where the gore uh, makeup is applied and a little touch up to the uh, fender of the car with some uh, make-believe blood by splat discussion with Pamela concerning how, how exactly to pull out Kashina. It was a running joke in the film. Um, Pam was a very petite young woman and she often had difficulty uh, picking up uh, most anybody. So we always had to figure out uh, little ways to cheat uh, to help her uh, pick people up. better way to uh, end our behind the scenes look than with a warm smile from Pam. Pam's in the cabin of the truck where she's now taking uh, her place uh, in, uh, from Lonnie and uh, we're starting the scene where she actually gets out of the truck and goes to uh, check out her handiwork. you enjoyed the look behind the scenes of the making of the film and I hope you enjoy the DVD.